purpose of this critique is to focus on process, focus on justifying reasoning and critiquing the reasoning of others. A big part of mathematics is communication and I tell my students all the time that it's great if they have all these wonderful ideas, um, but if they can't communicate it in words or communicate it you know, through their work by proof and justification, then it's hard to empathize or connect with what they are thinking. And so having them create this portfolio is a nice self-assessment for them. It's also a part of the assessment uh, that I use you know, throughout the course. The first round of critique that the students will be doing is on one of six questions that they have chosen to talk about in their math portfolio. I think it's important to give students choice about what they are reflecting on. So reflection prompts ranged from collaboration to a misconception in mathematics or to them focusing on one of the mathematical practice standards. And through this, they had to use evidence from their work in class to support their reasoning. The second part of the critique was uh, focused on the first prompt, which they were all required to answer, and that was a problem annotation. So they had to choose a problem from anything they've done um, this school year. So it could have been a group problem, it could have been from one of our math talks, it could have been um, an individual question that they were choosing to review from last year. And so they were to take this question and then break it down. So annotate it in such a way that they were showing their work, justifying how to move from this step to this step with also backing up the why. Number one, showing that it's going so on that the it's like line and Yeah, you yeah. Me. I agree, because this helped a lot. Because when I first did it, it was so cool. And then it showed up like each step and you're like, okay, yeah, I get that. Along with that, they wrote up some questions as to why they chose that problem, why they felt it really was an example of a deeper understanding that they gained and they had to explain their reasoning through words. So students will be revising based on the critique that they received on their problem annotation. Maybe they need to be more clear. Maybe they aren't justifying why they're able to take this step. And so they are working on a kind of final version of that portfolio that will then kind of live as their work for this whole course. And ideally, you know, for the whole year, that'll become part of their exit interview at the end of senior year. 